Phoenix Taxis are proud to bring you Driver, the new taxi booking app that's taking Europe by storm. You can book a cab in advance or for right away, and with credit or debit card payment and the ability to track your taxi live, it's the new and convenient way to travel with Northumberland's greenest and cleanest taxi firm. Download the app today by searching for Driver and enter Phoenix in the voucher section for £10 off your first booking. Go green, go Phoenix. Bly Spartans looked to bounce back from Monday's defeat at Darlington in the best possible manner as they welcomed Stamford at Croft Park. Tom Wade made a number of changes to his lineup again and Spartans started as follows. In goal, once again, was number one, Adam McHugh. Coming back in at right back was Alex Nicholson. On the opposite side, retaining his place at left back was Jordan Watson. At centre back was Port Applied Player of the Month for August, Dylan Morse, and he was partnered once again by Ryan Hutchinson. Passing a late fitness test to play midfield was Stephen Turnbull. On the right hand side of midfield was Aaron Weirmouth. Coming back into the starting lineup was Michael Richardson, and he played just off the lone front man, which was Dan Maguire. In midfield partner in Turnbull was Matthew Wade, and the left hand side was captain Robbie Dale, who wore number 11. That meant a number of changes on the substitute bench for Spartans, and Wade named the following replacements number 12, Danny Parker. 14 was Sean Reed, 15 was Neil Hooks, 16 was Tom McNamee, and 17 was Damon Mullen. Alongside the subs on the bench, of course, were the Spartans coaching team of head coach Lee Picton and manager Tom Wade, who received the Evo Stick Northern Premier League Premier Division Team of the Month Award for August. So that's Spartans lineup, as you can see from 1 to 11 and the subs to take on the Daniels. Spartans lining up as usual in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Richardson playing just off Maguire and as we said Nicholson and Richardson come back in the starting lineup. The Daniels lined up as follows and they had the ever dangerous Greg Smith and Ryan Robbins in forward positions. Commentary at Croft Park was provided by Radio Northumberland's Ryan Gray and Phil Castillo. Enjoy the highlights. Played. Richardson, lovely flick, and Maguire taking it down nicely. And Dalton Bettles is ahead of him, tries to play back into Richardson. Richardson will get there, oh. straight into the side netting. Oh. Encouraging early moments here from Spartans in the first couple of minutes. Yeah, it's a good move, wasn't it? Richardson's pace was just too much for the defender there. They move away here with Nathan Hicks, Stamford, as they come over the halfway line now. Good ball from Hicks to find Ryan Robbins. He's definitely onside, bursting into the penalty area. And it was good defending in the end from Morse. Just using his strength, and I think Robbins perhaps went to ground a little bit easily there. Well, the referee's signalling to him there quite vehemently, wasn't he, to get up and get on with the game. And when you compare Ryan Robbins and his stature to uh, that of Dylan Morse, it's uh, not much of a physical contest really, is there? Exactly. Here comes Nicholson surging forward now, and he's burst into the penalty area pretty much unopposed. Oh! What a goal! That is from Alex Nicholson. He just charged through unopposed. Oh. And... On the basis of that, you can understand why Stamford have conceded so many goals this season because nobody went near him. He was just given free reign in the field and a lovely little left foot clip over Richard Knight and Spartans a goal up in the first 10 minutes. What a sensational goal that is. I mean, if you want to see that, get into Black Spartans TV later in the week and see this. He just waltz, well, he didn't waltz, he just went straight through the defence. One after the other left in his wake and his finish was sublime in the, in the corner of the net. ball on the right hand side with Ryan Robbins plays a nice little ball through but it was well read by Jordan Watson clipping it over the top taken down by Challoner Challoner hoofing that one up into the air under the pressure of Richardson headed on and, uh, mustering a good attack here's Greg Smith tries to shoot and it's ricocheted in the end and it's a goal for Cameron Powell it's his third of the season and some unfortunate defending there from Spartans and all the hard work of Alex Nicholson's first goal has been undone there by Cameron Powell and uh, 1-1. One, one.
Hutchinson picking that one up ahead of Greg Smith. Jordan Watson playing it in field to Matthew Wade. Wade to Richardson. Richardson has got Maguire ahead of him. Cuts into the area. Still going here. Richardson oh. shot straight at night. But uh, good movement there by Michael Richardson and Spartans. Another opportunity, and they'll be wanting to get back on the front foot as soon as they can. Yeah, that's exactly what they're trying to do, isn't it? It's a good sign from Blythe's point of view. Some good, great sort of interplay and good, great movement. Jordan Watson sending that one forward. Cut out there by Powell. He sends that one forward to Robbins. Robbins can't get it. He's done well to get away from Hutchinson. Actually, edge of the area here. Ryan Robbins running through Clements, and he's finished it off here. Ryan Robbins goes through the Spartans' defence. There was nobody putting a challenge in, and it's 2-1 now. They were a goal down <laughs> about 10 minutes ago. They've turned that game on its head, and the visitors now are ahead. You know, bizarrely like the chance that Richardson just had, wasn't it? They driven across the area and a drag back shot. Unfortunately, that one uh, from Blythe's point of view went in. Corner taken quickly by Turnbull to Dale. Dale trying to skip away. Dinks it into the back post with Danny Maguire. Oh. Heads it in field. Morse. And it's punched oh. away by Knight. Not very far, though. And then a free kick is given. I think against Dylan Morse on Richard Knight there, and it's a baffling decision for me. He's every right to go for that ball Absolutely. after it looped up towards the goalkeeper. Wade playing it out wide to Watson. Watson looking for Wade. It's cut out in the end there by Powell. Powell charging across to the right-hand side. Tries to play it off Wade, but a ricochet straight into the path of Robbie Dale. Dale with a chance to move here. There's space ahead of him. He just goes to the edge of the area. He strikes it. Yeah! Wonderful strike by Robbie Dale. And again, the Stamford defence just backed away as Robbie Dale charged right through them. And uh, in the end, another soft goal, but uh, he took it very well. Yeah, he took it very, very well. As we say, the defenders just simply backing off right all the time. And you don't do that with Robbie Dale around. Uh, we should have seen the game against Birmingham. We should have seen uh, defenders backing off and scoring at the same end, uh, coincidentally. But yeah, he took it very, very well. He's been a sidestep once or twice, uh, bottom left hand corner, great goal. He's Wade, he's got Dale to the left. Dale clips that one over the top. Right onto Danny Maguire's foot. Oh, oh and Danny Maguire took it down expertly. All he had to do was find the target there and there. Perhaps a bit of ring rustiness showing there from Danny Maguire. He didn't have a pre season, so uh, he's still trying to find his form. But uh, what a ball that was from Robbie Dale to find. Turnbull whips this one in. And it falls oh, to Morse. Oh. Falls straight back out. Turnbull has it again, though. Clements ahead of him, but he's got into the penalty area. Whips it in. And there's the strike. Danny oh. Maguire. Good hands by Richard Knight at the near post to deny the Spartan striker a goal. And he uh, seems to have hurt his knee there, Danny Maguire. First Stanford corner. Got plenty of height forward. Powell is there. Carr. Of course, Greg Smith. Robbins is a big target. It's played along the ground, though, to Smith. Smith back to Bell, who took the corner initially. Hutchinson showing him down the line. And it nearly was a goal there. Terrible defending again from Spartans. Fortunately for them, it runs out for a goal kick, but uh, I think it was the centre back Lewis Carr who nearly got his head on the end of that one. He rolling it out wide to Jordan Watson. Watson to Dale. Dale playing that one in field. Is Matthew Wade. Wade dinking that one over the top, and Daniel Maguire running onto it. Trying to get away here from Bettles. He's done exceptionally well. Daniel Maguire, he's in the area. Pulled down by Bettles, the referee saying nothing doing. Drops it back to Dale. Oh! It's oh! Robbie Dale just side puts it home from the edge of the area. And that is the goal. The Spartans play really does deserve. They've been on top so far since uh, since about 10 minutes before the break, really. And you have to say a goal has been coming for them. Lovely side foot from Robbie Dale from the edge of the area. And that's his second of the game. Spartans 3, Stamford 2. Yeah, great goal again, Robbie Dale. Great bit by uh, Dan Maguire to make it. Uh, very strong, as he always is. Uh, wriggled past the defender. Saw D Robbie Dale coming inside of him, just side foot him, and as he said, Ryan side foot into the bottom corner, past the keeper's right hand. Uh, great goal, what Bly deserved. Header from Turnbull, only finding Greg Smith. 
Hutchinson getting to that one ahead of the attacker Nicholson. Good footwork, but giving it straight to Clements. The ball now with Hall on the left hand side, the substitute. First chance for him to get involved, and he's floated it over the top. Oh, my uh, I think that might have bounced off the post uh, from Andy Hall. Tried to clip it towards the, uh, the back post. McHugh was off his line. Fortunately for Spartans, that's bounced out. Dale dropping it back to Wade. Wade clipping that one over the top. It's a nice ball. It's run brilliantly for Wearmouth. He's got Richardson on the overlap as he moves towards the centre here. Aaron Wearmouth goes for the shot on the left. Oh! That one even caught me by surprise there, Aaron Wearmouth. And it just trickles wide of Richard Knight's goal. He had Maguire ahead of him for support, but uh, decided he didn't need him. It was a good left foot shot from Wearmouth and just, uh, just runs out of play. Unfortunate. The ball with Parker. Parker playing it forward to Turnbull. Turnbull finding Dale. Clipping it over the top. Lovely run by Maguire. And Maguire's onside here. Maguire, one on one. Gets away from Bettles. Good challenge, though, by the centre back. He had Wearmouth in support just to his right. Danny Maguire. I think he wants to put an end to his duck. Meanwhile, Greg Smith charging forward. And the ball could break here. It could end up in the back of the net. It has. And that's a calamitous goal. And a dreadful way for Stamford to get an equaliser with just eight minutes remaining on the clock. And uh, I'm not sure whether that will go down as an own goal or as a Greg Smith goal, but uh, it just seemed like a clumsy collision between McHugh, Parker and Smith. And the ball trickled all the way through into the back of the net. And Tom Wade looks absolutely distraught down there on the, the Spartans bench, and rightly so because... That was an awful goal to concede. Seems as if Spartans are in formation for their patented kickoff, though, with Nicholson and Weymouth both on the halfway line, ready to charge forward, and Turnbull ready to hook it across towards them as they move forward. And uh, they'll be keen to get this one as far forward as they can as quickly as possible and uh, it is the uh, usual business from Spartans this time they've found Wearmouth who drops it back to Nicholson Nicholson charging forward trips over his own feet as well to come away with the ball though it breaks from Maguire Maguire still with the ball after falling over he's in the penalty area now Danny Maguire cuts it across to Nicholson on the right hand side whipping it into the penalty area Richardson's there comes off way Ted to Robbie Dale at the back post oh! The hat trick for Robbie Dale, <laughs> clipping it over the top of the goalkeeper, and that was absolutely stunning from Dale. Ball whipped in from Nicholson on the right hand side. It comes off Matthew Wade's head, falls to the feet of Dale, and he just floated that one into the far corner. And there are a few in this league that could do that as well as Robbie Dale just did then. That was absolutely sensational. <laughs> it just gets better and better. Robbie Dale scores in this. He goes in this game from Bryce's point of view. So much needed as well. How to respond within a couple of minutes of uh, the equaliser? Dale coming back like that. So calm and beautiful pit over the top of the night. that one on with his head into the path of Maguire tries to turn it back into the feet of Robbie Dale it falls to Wearmouth on the edge of the area yeah, he smashes it over the top of the bar but, uh, nearly a fourth and a fourth one would just be what Spartans need here just to uh, see this game off so Spartans eventually saw off the challenge with a determined Stanford side and after the game we spoke to captain Robbie Dale about his hat trick and what the three points mean for his side. Right, Robbie, uh, a hat trick, uh, but uh, an eventful game. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it's always nice to get a hat trick, but the three points was a must today. After the last two games, we need to get back on the winning run. So, quite good day. How imperative was it that we won today? I think it was massive. At home, I think you've got to win as many home games as possible. And after the legacy, after the last two, we needed three points today. We've also got a few hat tricks for the club now. Where does that run? I don't really know. Like, uh, like I see, I've, I've scored a few, but like, it's a bit more rare nowadays, so it's okay. Have you got a favourite of the three? 
I think the third one was probably the best uh, finish for like one touch finish type thing. Tough game Tuesday night now, so. Yeah, but like, obviously that sets up for nicely for Salford. If we can get anything, I'll be happy from that. So, Phil, uh, a hard fought three points response today. Uh, probably made it a bit more difficult for themselves than they needed to, but yeah. Robbie Dale was there when they needed him, as he has been in the past. Yeah, well, he was brilliant today, wasn't he? Absolutely superb. I mean, the whole team was were, were really good. Uh, they needed that win on the back of a, a, a draw and a defeat. So, uh, yeah, hard fought, like you say, but deserved. Uh, a few scary moments, but uh, yeah, Robbie Dale cropped up. Brilliant hat trick, one of the best hat tricks. I'm sure he scored. And, Probably not too much to say. He's one of the best hat tricks in world football ever. Uh, but it was, it was sensational. It was uh, very good and uh, almost takes away from uh, from Alex Nicholson's wonderful first goal as well, which opened the scoring. Yeah, it would be a shame because that was a tremendous run, wasn't it? A tremendous finish with his left foot. Uh, and there's some, some heroes out there as well. I mean, Michael Richardson worked very hard. Alan Remath did very well. And, uh, Unfair not to mention them all, really, because it was a good team effort against not a bad Stamford side, actually, uh, who, who did stick in. Yeah, and Stamford going into this game, although they have, did have the worst defensive record in the league, um, have also got a very good goal-scoring record. And again, they proved today that they can get goals from absolutely nowhere. Yeah, well, they did, put it, put it that way. They did get their goals from absolutely nowhere, really. And uh, I suspect Tom's not going to be too uh, too happy with some, with some of that, but that, that that will be addressed. It's still early season, and uh, but I saw the resilience and the endeavour to, to to win the game when it could have slipped away. And in previous seasons, they might have done. It was, uh, it was good to see a return for Danny Parker today. Brought on though uh, in poor circumstances because of the injury to Dylan Morse. Dylan Morse, of course, has been brilliant so far this season. Uh, how much will that affect them for Tuesday's game away at? Uh, at uh, it's Salford, yeah. Uh, well, I think we'll have to see yeah, how, how bad his injury is. Hopefully, it was more precautionary the, the substitution because, I mean, Morse has grabbed his opportunity with both hands, hasn't he? With Danny being away early summer, and uh, that would have been it's Danny's position that Dylan's in at the minute. But, uh, I mean, Danny's a very more than adequate replacement, so I'm sure he'll try to get that shirt back. Yeah, well, uh, look forward to Tuesday evening with, uh, with Salford.